uh, practice of recollection, which is an, an ancient Christian practice, very similar, uh, almost identical in many ways to Buddhist mindfulness, except for one characteristic of the Semitic religions, is the use of symbolism and imagination and language as, as a part of our relationship with uh, the great mystery. So recollection in, in our tradition uh, has three parts to it. Uh, and I'm writing a book on this because it's so modern and yet we've lost so much of this Christian, of the power of, of the Christian practice, um, of the contemplative and mystical practice. The first step is called uh, collect, collectedness or collecting yourself. It's the same thing as our Quakers call centering down or gathering yourself. Um, and uh, and it's, it's called collectedness or collecting yourself. The second step is called recollection, and that's basically the tradition of practicing the presence of God. And if you're a Buddhist brother or sister, you would just stop with practicing the presence. And uh, the third part is the use of symbolic recollection, or bringing in the imagination and the, your personal relationship with the holy and begin to dialogue with it. This was done not only through scripture, but through prayer. And the technique, another technique that we've lost in almost all of our congregations is um, what is called the examen, or the examination of consciousness. And that technique is different than the examination of conscience. And both of those are part of the, the broader practice of, of recollection that is 